Hi everyone, it's Robin Clayton and I want to welcome you back to my channel So to See at the Farm where I create these gorgeous garden glass flowers and more. So I have uh, not been on my channel for um, over a month now. Um, I had been going uh, probably almost two years straight um, every other week and um, it was just time for a much needed break. So, but I'm back at it and uh, today we're going to be making a, a gorgeous garden glass flower. So I hope that you will Will stay with me because I'm going to give you my tips from A to Z on how to make these gorgeous garden glass flowers for your home or for your garden. All right, so now let's move on to the items that you're going to need to complete this project. Stay with me. Okay, folks, here is a quick list of items that you're going to need to complete this project. And as I always uh, indicate during all of my videos that all of this stuff will be listed in the description box below. You're going to need protective eyewear as well as safety gloves. You're going to need a cordless drill or a drill press. You're going to need a, uh, a towel to wipe down all your plates. You're going to need some toggle bolts. These are 3 16 by 3 inches to secure your plates together. You're going to need a magic marker to mark the center of your plates. You're going to need some rubber washers. You're also going to need uh, some diamond tip drill bits. You can get these from your local hardware store or from Amazon. You're going to need, if you're mounting it outside, you're going to need a mounting hook. I use this particular hook. I get it from Hobby Lobby. It is a flower motif, which is why I like to use it. And it sits very well uh, inside this chair cover if you mount this outside. You will need a chair cover. I have a cordless uh, screwdriver as well as a standard screwdriver. You're going to need a little bit of water to help you cut through the glass while you're drilling. You're going to need a measuring tape. You're going to need stabilizers. And you're also going to need some Windex to clean all of your plates. Uh, you're also going to need protective eyewear. And I think that's pretty much everything. If I've left anything out, it will be listed in the description box below. All right, so let's move on to the cutting stage of this particular process. Okay, let me just show you the pieces before we get into the uh, cutting stage. Stage. These are the pieces that we're going to be using here today. I've got this uh, gorgeous orb. Uh, now I'm going to have to open this up with my drill press. I've got this uh, beautiful uh, flower petal uh, piece of glass that I'm also going to be uh, using as well as this gorgeous teal and purple flower petal. So those are the three things that we will be cutting and working with today. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get my drill press set up to cut. I'm gonna need to have a larger drill bit here because I'm, you see this orb here, I need to open that hole up. So I'm going to take this drill bit, and go ahead and put that straight on just like that. Make sure that's loosened up. Just tighten it up with your chuck. Okay, so we're good to go there. The height itself is correct where I need it to be. Got a little bit of water here. Okay. You need the water because it helps you break through the sediment. And put this stabilizer here so it doesn't, if it slips out of my hand, it'll stay within the perimeter of the area that I'm cutting. So I'm going to hold that right just like that. Okay, and here we go. Alright, so let's move on to the next piece. And as I indicate in all my videos, I really do like to um, use a new drill bit when I'm working with the glass just to make sure that you know, there are no issues. Let's just tighten this down. Make sure that's real tight. Okay, good to go there. 
can put a little bit of water here. As I indicated, I've already marked my center. I have to elevate the press. I see a little bit of dirt on this glass, but I'm just gonna I'll clean that off real good. Okay, so I wanna make sure that I'm lined up correctly. Right on that mark. Here we go, perfectly through. All right, let's move on to the larger piece now. Okay, we are at the stage of cutting our final piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring that camera down so you can see how I cut the, uh, the last piece of this beautiful uh, glass flower. Hold on. Okay, so here we are. I've got some water. I've already marked the center. Hopefully you can see that. And I've got a stabilizer right there below this so that when I penetrate through the top of this glass, it will hit that piece of wood underneath it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of water right there. And I've got my cordless drill. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this drill at a 45 degree angle and I'm gonna start real slow. And then I'm gonna carefully bring this up until I come into a 90 degree angle, which will then pierce through uh, the piece of glass. All right, so here we go. Start slow. Don't be afraid. Here we go. And there you go, all the way down. All right, so let's move on to assembly. All right, see you soon. Okay, folks, we are finished with the cutting of all of these three pieces. So now we're gonna go ahead and start the assembly stage of this process. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring that camera down so that you can see how I assemble these pieces. Stay with me. Okay, folks, we are here at the assembly stage. So I've already wiped everything down so everything is ready to go. Start the assembly, I'm gonna go ahead and take my flower. I'm gonna go ahead and put a washer right there. And then I'm gonna take my tunnel uh, bulb and stick that straight through just like that. And then I'm gonna stick it straight through just like that through the flower. Okay, and then I'm gonna carefully turn this over. And then I'm gonna take another washer I'm going to put that washer right there in the center, all right? And that just um, gives it a little bit of cushion for my next piece. And then I'm going to take this beautiful flower petal, and it just blends so beautifully with the purples and the teals of this flower petal. So I'll place that right there. I'm going to take another washer and stick that washer just like that, okay? Switch hands here. Let's take my toggle and get my toggle started. And then I'm just going to go ahead and screw that down just like that. Just give me enough to grab the orb. And then I'm going to take my orb and I'm going to go ahead and push that orb straight in just like that until it pulls and I can feel it pulling. All right, so I know that the toggle has opened up its wings and that uh, it has secured the orb. Carefully turn it over on its side. And I'm gonna take my uh, cordless drill, make sure it's in the forward position. I'm going to begin tightening. I do it in spurts, just so I don't put a lot of tension on that glass. And I'm comfortable with that. And I'm gonna go ahead and just 
finish tightening it up. And I, let me turn it over to see how it looks. And I think that looks beautiful. Okay, put this stuff away. And let me turn it around so you can see the finished product. There it is. So gorgeous. Okay, let me turn it over to the back so you can see. And again, this one could can be bounded outside, so I went ahead and put the uh, flower hook on it. And there we go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, next what this looks like on a stand. Stay with me. Okay, here is the stand that I'm gonna be using today. It's a bifold stand. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my beautiful, gorgeous flower petal. So I'm gonna show that up real close. So you can see there's teals in the, in the, in the center portion of this particular flower, so this teal blue as well as this orb really does match quite well. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and set it here on the stand and then let me show you. Okay, so this is how you would mount it inside your home on this particular stand or any kind of stand. I, I prefer uh, the larger stands so that you don't have any potential for them, you know, falling over or uh, getting a tipped over. These, this stand supports this one quite nicely. So let me turn it to the rear so you can see it from the back. Yeah, I think that looks so beautiful. All right, so let me show you what this looks like on an exterior stand. Stay with me. Okay, so here's the stand that I'm going to be using. This is simply a chair cover that I have put a hole in with a, uh, a drill bit. Okay, so I've mounted a hole there and I'm just going to go ahead and take my flower petal with the hook and I'm just going to go ahead and push that straight down right in there just like that. So it sits snug as a bug in a rug and this is just one, uh, this is a piece of, of conduit that I painted, but you can use what green, whatever color you want for a stand. But the hook itself, again, does an amazing job. And this particular piece is not very heavy. Uh, so I know that a few of you uh, in the comments section have asked me about, you know, how sturdy this is in the wind. Now, the, beauty, the beautiful thing you just saw me do is I just took it right off of the hook. So when you do have windy days, you can bring these in. Um, but if you mount it correctly in the ground, which I will also do a video on, uh, these should not uh, come off unless they're substantially heavy. Now, if they're substantially heavy, then yeah, that, that's an issue. And I, I would definitely bring them in. But this particular piece, again, like I said, it's not very heavy and it's absolutely stunning. Okay, and it'll really shine uh, very brightly in the sun. All right, so yeah, that's, that's how you do that. I think it's absolutely stunning. So that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this particular uh, creation of this gorgeous purple magenta and teal garden glass flower. If you have any questions, you can email me at my website at www.zodcatthefarm.com. Or if you're interested in purchasing any of these pieces, you can also find them there on my website at www.zodcatthefarm.com. If you have any comments or questions and you'd like to leave them in the comments section, please do. And don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button so that these particular instructional videos get out to others who are interested in creating their own uh, garden glass art. All right, I hope you have a blessed day and a blessed new week, and I hope to see you next time here at Zodacy at the Farm. Many blessings sent your way. Take care. Bye-bye.